Hey guys. All right, this is the Gobi uh, Cherokee Trailhawk uh, ladder install. And the first step that we do is we're gonna measure from this edge here, seven inches. And we mark it with a piece of uh, masking tape because the uh, top mount goes right here. So that's the first step. There we go. But Okay, now it says to put this back on here. Okay, and I've painted it. Slides right in like this and it says, pull it back forcefully. All right, the next thing we do, once we see we've got that all taped up and held in place, is what we're supposed to do, is to now come in here and pop out this, this door handle because there's two little uh, plastic uh, little clips here. So we're gonna have to somehow squeeze this and pop it out. So I'm gonna grab a screwdriver because I can't seem to bend that and see what we can do. Okay, well, we got it out, but notice I broke it because you don't know where these other two clips are. And I was prying from the center here and there's actually a clip here, a clip here and a clip here. And there's two clips on top right there. I don't know if you can see them really well. So and that was the problem. So I'll have to buy a new one there and uh, take care of that. So, all right, so now I got that out. Now let's go to the next step. Okay, next step they say is to uh, pop this out. They say by going on the right side, carefully pop this out. Okay, that came out really easy. Pop this out. And then it says to disconnect the housing here by untwisting it. There it is, untwist it. And they said to put this back inside out of the way. And we put this back down here. Well, I tried going in through here, but it's such a tight squeeze because the bolt is right there. So you have to go in and then up. But then it was suggested that I might be able to go and get that easier from here. So I'm gonna pop this out right now. See if, see if I can have a little bit better access. Cut off here. Um, to see if I have better access, but I really don't right now. But with my uh, box ratcheting set here, 10 millimeter, I'm gonna go from the inside here. The thing is that you have to make sure you have it the right, the right way so that when you ratchet, it's un, undoing it, rather as this way, if I were to put it in, I'd be tightening it. So I have to go in this way on top of the nut, which is right, here, so I go and I went in this way like this. I set it on top. And now I'm just going to ratchet like this. There we go. I've got to do a couple ratchets here. Yep. Yeah, and now I'm just hand loosening it, and it says to sort of jiggle it to pop this sucker out, but it's not popping out because this thing has to come out. Ugh. No, I'm trying to see if there's a way I can maybe push it from the other end. Ugh, dang, that is not moving. Hmm. I'm gonna have to find a, as I said, it's supposed to use this lever this back and forth to loosen that sucker out, but it is not moving. I'll have to find another way to get it. Yep. All right, I got it out. Basically, this is kind of wedged in there and I was able to um, use my Leatherman here as I, whoops, I'll pick that up. As I pushed and pulled here, and I was able to wedge this and pop this out. But this is what you have to pop out. And it was in the now, the next step is to take off this one here. It's the same thing, but I'm finding it easier for this one to go just from the uh, inside. All right, so now I'm just gonna pry this and at the same time move my pull it from the inside and tilt it, then it gets really loose. So now I'm going to take off the screw or the nut. There you go. And on this one, I went in from the inside here. Okay, so the next step is to take stainless steel bolt and one of your stainless steel washers and a nylock. I threw in some anti-tank seizing compound. I'm going to have to clean this up afterwards. Um, and now, one will go here and one will eventually go right here. But now it says we just uh, hook this up and uh, hmm. 
kind of hard when I can't do this. Let me get on the ground here. See if I can uh, get my hand up there a little easier. There we go. Let me just screw this temporarily, put this on. There we go. So just make it snug. And then we do the same thing. Oops. Ooh. Same thing on this side. I'll throw a little more this compound on this here. I guess they don't want these to get all locked up. So I'm just going to throw a little bit on there. Right there. There we go. And there's my little tissue again. Same thing. The nylon washer. And this one goes to the other hole here. Like that. And this one I went to the inside from the center. And I'm just going to put this on sure that the right way. Yep. There we go. All right, so now this one here is pretty snug. This one here I'm going to have to tighten with the ratchet a little bit to make it a little more snug. Make sure I put this in the right way. That's loosening. That's tightening. So, same thing here. Oops. That's right. I found it easier to go this way into here. Well, after fiddling around with this for a while, um, I just realized that uh, these nylon nylocks are uh, not metric. So, my 10 millimeter whoops, ratchet is not going to work. So I have to get another one. So I'll be right back. All right. Fortunately, I have a set of American, was it Imperial size? And I found out that these are half inch. Okay. So, so be aware you need a 10 millimeter to take off the stock bolts, which are these ones here, but you'll need a half inch Imperial American size to take to put them new ones back on. Oh, you can pause it. So I actually don't need to use the ratchet. I mean, you can use a regular box end because they give you an Allen wrench here. I forgot all about that. An Allen wrench can be used to tighten, but the, any box wrench, all you're gonna use is to hold it in place while you cinch this up. So, so that'll be handy. And they said, just keep it kind of loose for right now. Well, I guess I should make this a little looser because you may have to, adjust this. I'm going to flip this around so I can hold it tight now. There we go. Loosen it. There we go. So this can move. And i got to do the same thing on this side here. just need a box set here to hold it in place. Make sure I got it in the right direction. So this is tightening. Okay. Right, let's go. Put that right there. Tighten this up a little bit, snug it. There we go. All right, so that's that step. Okay, now the next step is to uh, adjust the plate. And my son took off inside for a minute. But uh, the picture and the instructions are not really clear, but it took me a second to figure it out. But they want you to position this plate, which the one we just mounted, one and seven eighths to two inches. Here it is, here, record that. From the back of the door. Okay, so I'm going to let me see here. One and seven eighths to two. So that looks pretty close. I'm just not sure about this end here. So, all right, so we'll leave it at that. And we'll snug them up a little bit. As it says to do not over tighten. Uh, okay, now it says we just, uh, these I've snugged up, pretty snug. I don't want to over tighten them. I don't know, hopefully it'll be okay. And now we go ahead and uh, put the lamp back in here. Looks like it's just a, a twist. Goes in and then you twist it like that. There we go. And then this just slides right back in place. Snaps in, got parts done. And now we go ahead and start on the top. Okay, so now, next step is I had to put these two washers on. Now this is not on here permanently yet. This is just 
temporary still. So, but I'm now gonna put this up here and put this down here. Okay, now there is a gap here, but at least looks like according to the instructions, um, they're the same way. So now I've taken these off the bottom. Now I'm gonna thread these back in here, just like this. Yeah, there's a bit of a gap, so. Off the ladder now, because that's the next step, because now I'm going to uh, take all this stuff off and uh, do the final mounting. But this, these are what we're holding it in place. And um, some folks said you don't need to take off this adhesive, but um, I want to, to make sure I follow the instructions. So I'm just cleaning this really good I'm just using a kitchen wipe because I don't have any alcohol on me. But now I'm also then going to uh, use a, a clean, uh, dry paper towel. There we go. And make sure this is all spick and span, nice and dry before I do anything here. There we go. That yeah, looks pretty dry. Does that look dry to you? Yeah. Don't see any. Okay. Should be fine. Okay, so now I take off this uh, sticky tape. Here we go. Let's go. There's one. Let that fall. There's two. There's three. And here is the fourth one. Okay, so yeah, that's nice and dry. Okay, so now we're gonna put this back here in line with our original marker here. There we go, like that. And we need to pull this nice and, it says to pull it tight. It's not as, there we go, that side is tight. This one here is not tight for some reason. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna slide it a little more toward the passenger side. Oh, okay, I wanna make sure I got this right. There we go, that's snug good there, it's snug good there. All right, then it says you gotta put some weight on it for about 30 seconds. This is nice and snug. I don't think it's going to make too much difference because as soon as the ladder is on, that's some extra weight, and you can always stomp on the ladder to hold it down there. Okay. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put the ladder back on. Here it is. Looks like this. There we go. Okay, now. Let's check the gravel here. Turn that off. And we now re-screw these bolts back in. 